Hey there everyone, Ryan Frontline Animal Removal. Today I'm going to show you the difference between a groundhog den and a sinkhole. So let's first look at the sinkhole. Here we have our sinkhole. Now, you notice there's no dirt around this spot. There's no dirt there. But we have dirt there and we drain there. The sidewalk slopes up. The grass slopes up. This sidewalk slopes up. This drain is the lowest spot that's right here next to this building. So that sits high and everywhere else sits high. And we have dirt piling up here. Now groundhogs will use sinkholes. They will go underneath anything that they can hide in. They'll go underneath shrubs, they'll go under sheds, anywhere there's an opening. And I'm sure we have groundhogs going into this hole. But the other thing I noticed is, I look along this crack, there is no soil or anything underneath this crack right down here. And the same is true here. And then when I look underneath, let's see if I can get the phone underneath. It's nice and hollow underneath here. Now if a groundhog is doing this, We'll have dirt all over mounded up here. But well, we don't. We have a little bit of dirt here, but this is all getting washed down from around here. It's getting washed down along the building there. So the front of this, this corner of this building is a low point. Hey, all the rainwater, stormwater just comes right to here, and it's just washing all the soil down here. And it's washed all the soil out from underneath this concrete. This concrete slab is dropping. This slab sits higher than here. This slab has dropped this. This has dropped over an inch. This has dropped a three quarters of an inch from here. This is not groundhog activity. Now let's go look at the groundhog activity. Here is groundhog activity. Got a hole right there, hole there, hole there. This big mound of dirt came from that hole. That big mound of dirt came from that hole. That dirt and that dirt came from that hole. You can see how flat it is between there and there. And all of a sudden, boom, dirt. You see, in order for a groundhog to go underground, they have to move dirt out of the way. And so they dig it up and they have to deposit on well, they have to deposit on the surface. So when you have groundhog activity, you get all this dirt mounded up. The more groundhog activity you have, the more dirt you have mounded up. You can have a hole like this one with no dirt around it. But that's because this hole goes that way, and that hole goes that way, and they've pushed all the dirt into this corner. So this is a prime example of groundhog activity. That hole over there, under the sidewalk, that looks to me like a sinkhole. That is just erosion. Groundhogs will take advantage of that. They will go underneath there, but there is no dirt being moved. If a groundhog was living underneath that concrete slab, we'd have mounds of dirt like this. So I'm going to trap the groundhog here. I'm telling the maintenance department over there that they have a sinkhole issue because eventually that sidewalk's gonna crack, crack and collapse. So if you see a hole, you see a critter go into it, but you don't see any dirt around it, you're probably not living there. When you see stuff like this, they're definitely living here because that's a lot of dirt moved. So those are the differences between a sinkhole and a groundhog hole. Thank you.